how to install a Ruby tag on a Raspberry Pi that is uh, running the Venus operating system, as in a Servo GX. Hi folks, I'm Roger from Offgrid, and in this episode we are going to just take you through the very simple, quick and easy process of installing or uh, linking, uh, connecting a Raspberry Pi to a Ruby tag. In this particular case, the Raspberry Pi is running Venus operating system, so it acts as a Serbo GX. Uh, we've got some other YouTubes that show you how you can set up the Raspberry Pi to operate uh, as a Victron Serbo GX, and it's it's a really great bit of kit and well worth doing. Fairly inexpensive for those who don't want to pay the money for a proper Serbo with the screen. And uh, in this episode, I'm going to take you through this process of how easy it is. It's really easy to install this. But let's just talk a little bit about sensors. So this is the standard sensor that comes from Victron. So it's all nicely bundled still. It's got basically a, a negative and a positive wire, so black and red. And this you can plug directly into a Serbo GX and is really great for measuring temperature. It only measures temperature, nothing else and is uh, pretty good at that. Having said that it's good, actually in most cases you have to change the calibration on your Serbo GX because out the box this is often quite inaccurate. Why it should be I don't know, it's, it's a bit crazy. You'd think that uh, it would be quite easy because this is operated by a chip of some sort. So difficult to connect this into a Raspberry Pi because it doesn't have those simple little uh, connectors, they're like little mini Wago things that you Plug the wires in. So let's put this to one side. We won't use this for our Raspberry Pi. Instead, here is uh, what is called a Ruby tag a sensor, and uh, this thing does way more than this uh, simple one from Vectron. This one uh, handles temperature, air, humidity, air pressure, and motion. So it actually measures four things in this little tag. So this, let's open this up. Oh. And here it is. So it's got a battery inside. It's got a little thing here for um, measuring those the air pressure and the uh, humidity, etc. So there are two things that we'll need to do. Firstly, we'll need to uh, activate this, and uh, to activate it, you're just going to pull this little plastic tab because this is what will uh, get it to basically. We pull it out, and it's now ready to go. So let's. Uh, get to the Raspberry Pi and show you uh, just where you set this up in the Raspberry Pi to connect to here. So here is our Raspberry Pi running the Venus operating system, so uh, acting as a Serbo GX. In this particular case we have installed GUI mods, which I would highly recommend uh, installing GUI mods unless you are running the very latest version of the uh, software especially the beta version has a completely different look and feel about it. But anyway, this is the fairly popular uh, GUI mods running on one of the older versions of the software. And what we're going to do here is we need to go into the settings. So you notice we don't have generic temperature uh, readings or anything on here at the moment. So we're going to click there, go to the menu, and on the menu, if you don't have GUI mods, your settings will be at the bottom. In this particular case, because we have GUI mods, it's at the top. So we go to settings. And under settings, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And third from the bottom is I.O. So you go to I.O. So click on that. That brings you to the Bluetooth sensor. So if you click on that, it takes you to the sensors. The, uh, the sensors and you'll notice that they are currently disabled. So you need to enable them. You just do that by clicking on that. Let's wait a little while. You can see the Ruby tag has popped up now. So any Ruby tags that are within range will pop up automatically. And uh, you need to, you click on it once to select it and you click it again to activate it. So now that is activated, that's pretty much all that we need to do, except before we actually see it displaying something sensible, we will need to reboot this. So let's come back. So we're going to go to settings and general and we're going to click on reboot and reboot again and as you can see now it's rebooting so let's wait for that to complete its reboot. Okay so we have finished the reboot and uh, we're going to go and look at the pages now and as you'll see on the pages it's come up with this gener generic bar 
and at the bottom here you can see that it has both the uh, temperature which is uh, 22.8 degrees centigrade and the humidity which is 46 percent so that's pretty useful and uh, as you can see really easy to set up this is our display unit that we take to all the shows to basically show people what the Victron kit looks like your standard sort of build for a motorhome or a small boat or something like that and in this we've got a proper server GX over here and we've got a seven inch touch screen up here and I'm also going to show you the very quick and easy process to uh, install it on here it is almost exactly the same as a Raspberry Pi uh, but I'm showing you this because we are running the very latest software that you can download and, and run with uh, from Victron. And as you can see, the display is completely different. If you want to pan in there, that's the display is completely different from uh, the display that we've been looking at with the, on the Raspberry Pi. Uh, that's quite a nice layout. So let's take you through the installation process on that too. This is a proper Serbo GX. This is the seven inch touchscreen. And we're just going to show you quickly how you would set the Ruby tag up on here. So once again, you go to the menu. As you can see, this is a completely different approach. So we go to settings here. And we are again going to IO. So that's IO there. And we're going to Bluetooth sensors. And as you can see, they are not enabled. So we enable them. The, the Ruby tag comes up automatically. So we click on that. And uh, basically that's it, but what we will need to do again is go to settings and general and we're going to reboot, reboot now and let's wait for it to boot. So now we've finished the reboot process and the screen has come back up. This is uh, the, what is it, this is the, the brief view as you can see on the left here. Uh, it doesn't actually show us anything to do with the Ruby tag. And even if you go to the overview, uh, that also doesn't uh, show anything to do with the Ruby tag. If you come to the levels, there you see you've got a, it's showing you the Ruby tag. And here it's showing you the actual temperature. So it's 18 degrees in here, 49 relative humidity. We have another temperature input as well, which is shown here. So this one is the standard Victron. And so these two are actually quite similar, 18 versus 19 degrees. But that's where you would see the uh, Ruby tag levels. As you can see, uh, setting up the Ruby tag on the Serbo GX is really, really quick and easy. One of the advantages, once you've done that, uh, one of the advantages of, of having that functionality is that on uh, VRM you can set alarms. And alarms are quite handy. So let's say you've got the motorhome parked somewhere in storage and uh, you don't really want it to freeze inside because you might have something that uh, could be damaged by the freezing. Uh, so you can set alarms. So in my case, I have an alarm set that when mine goes below eight degrees centigrade, it, uh, it alarms, it sends me a message saying that it's gone low. And then when it uh, goes over about 15, it, it sends me another one saying everything's fine, it's gone back up again. So quite handy from that point of view to have the tag connected to your Serbo GX uh, and, and then especially if you do use VRM obviously it means that your Serbo needs to be connected to the internet at uh, all times but that's fine I think most of us do that anyway. So hopefully uh, that's helpful I mean really really quick simple easy video uh, there was some doubt expressed by a number of people as to whether uh, a Raspberry Pi uh, is compatible with the Ruby tag. Uh, we've like all known that the proper Serbo GX is compatible. But yeah, the Raspberry Pi is definitely compatible. Really easy to set up as you've seen. So hopefully you can go and do that. We'll include a link down below as to where you can find these tags. And once you've uh, got the tag set up, you would then just put it in, in a safe location in, in the motorhome somewhere. So you'd probably put a double-sided uh, sticky tape in here or something like that or even just pop it onto a shelf or a locker or something like that. It, it, uh, it communicates with Bluetooth so um, you know a few meters is absolutely fine. Uh, pretty much anywhere in the motorhome uh, you can put this. So hopefully you find that useful and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.